Um, these 30, 37 minutes of music is the, the end product of two years, inspiration, frustration, toil and passion. Who wrote this? I that don't know. We didn't write that. I wrote that. You wrote this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jack, man, you're toiling away to... Toiling away. <laughs> I just wanted to... I mean, I don't know. I didn't expect that people... Every interview that we did, someone would bring that Yeah, people like up. that quote, I think. Mm. It's maybe a better way of saying blood, sweat and tears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But that's, well, it's cliches. something that we've... Uh, okay, well, then, well, then, well, then pick into. two years. Uh, let's pick every word and four words. Inspiration. Well, because, I mean, I, I think it... It's just because when you're trying to make music, it doesn't... It's not always you're not always kind of riding on a wave of inspiration. Like sometimes you are, and sometimes some sometimes things come really quickly, uh, and sometimes it's just really it's just the easiest thing in the world to, to make music. But like uh, other times, it's a real pain in the ass. It's a you know it's a trial, and things aren't working, and like you've got to you've got to try like a hundred different ways of trying to make a song work or something like that. And I think the fact that we because we produced the record ourselves in our garage. It was like we we were, I think we I felt like we were a lot closer to the music than say a band that you know kind of worked with another producer. Yeah, absolutely, and, absolutely. Like, we were literally there listening to it over and over. I had to listen to my voice singing a chorus about a million times, and before you know it, you're just like you're you're, you're literally going insane. Yeah. But it's like kind of I, don't know, I think yeah I think it's, it's it's hard work, but the same I don't know I kind of there's nothing more satisfying than. Yeah, completing a song and saying this is this is us. This is we did everything ourselves. We were gone in a garage. We recorded it all ourselves. And it's like well, did we didn't you rely on anyone else to get where we are now. It felt kind of apart cool. from Paul Atworth, I'm jumping. Yeah, oh yeah, apart from Paul. Oh, <laughs> God bless you. Apart <laughs> from who? Apart from who? Uh, Paul, Atworth, Paul Atworth, who would jump in the pool. We were, we, were, we kind we, of collaborated with him. Uh, one, we did one track with the producer. Just, okay. just to yeah, add a little bit of variation. But well, did you ever think, oh, maybe this album isn't go going to be released? D did you yeah. ever think that? Definitely. Do we yeah, ever think what? Or did you ever think that the album was never going to be released? Yeah, yeah. I no. didn't. Well, I don't know. Like, like I suppose like seventy percent of it was written when we weren't signed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we and didn't know we were going to get a record. So, before. like, I mean, you you can say that we. I mean, there was a lot of times when we were just, you know, we were just doing it because that's what we that's what we do really. Yeah. Like. Well, that's what we felt. I don't know. We could do, and that's why we kind of pursued it and persevered. But. I think it was hard. never a dead cert that yeah. what we had actually um, spent all this time doing was ever going to mean anything to anyone other than ourselves. Yeah. It was great to hear someone else uh, believed in you and was prepared to get everyone else uh, as interested as they could as well. Yeah. Um, well, let's see how you worked then. Uh, we picked the song Paris. Um, how did it start? How? Uh, got written and recorded in two days. <laughs> yeah. Really, just one of those tracks that just flowed and happened really easily. And uh, but how? Who started? Do you still recall? Was it I, just I, I was just sitting in my room and I was just faffing around with a, a little drum loop. Like I was, I, I recorded these different toms separately, and I was micing them up, and I was just had like a hi hat pattern, and I was like, oh. and then I just came up with this really simplistic vocal line, and I was like, yeah, it kind of works. It sounds like. Yeah, I did it. I mean, like, it's not like I had any specific plan. You just get in there and you faff about and you improvise and mm -hmm. just, like, see what happens. And and then you brought it to the two of them. What do you think? Yeah, I think he'd done a pretty good job. <laughs> <laughs> he clearly, uh, it was, yeah, it was odd. It was definitely the first song where um, all the elements seemed to come very easily. And uh, What elements? Uh, well, just um, there was a heavy percussive... Um, uh, elements of the verse, and then it was kind of married with this huge uh, drop of chorus and An expansive lush kind of chorus. They were just uh, two things we were interested in, but had never really been able to uh, achieve in the same song. And to kind of uh, unify them both was really, it felt oh, sweet. We've kind of been able to put together two things which we're like, obsessed with but actually get them uh, in the same song together, in the same three minutes as well. You mean the r rhythms and the... The rhythm and then and the, the big chorus. chorus yeah, yeah. I think the, the first and chorus, although very different, just work together fluidly in, uh, in one whole song. Like I think it's quite hard to write really lush, dense music with kind of, kind of thick, dense percussive stuff, because it ends up sounding like bad prog house or something like that. Like, I think kind of 
I'm trying to make something that sounds credible and that is really melodic and danceable at the same time. It's, they're, they're, they're definitely two genres that are quite hard to, to marry. Yeah, there was plenty of um, space in the song. It never felt overly cluttered or kind of claustrophobic because you have all these uh, instruments uh, as a kind of barrage on your brain at one time. It just felt, wow, this is, this is settled really nicely. It's all kind of flowing together. Do you agree, Jack? Uh, yeah, I agree. Sorry, why? Yeah. <laughs> why are you asking? <laughs> <Better time. laughs> because you're, because you're just, you're just uh, <laughs> looking. Really? Yeah, looking, looking that way. Oh, right, no, sorry, I'm just distracted. Have by you had a yeah. cheeky by the tram. split? <laughs> I'm just well, distracted by the, There's like a lot of th things going on by. We usually do our interviews in kind of an office or something like that. And so oh, no problem, I was just uh, wondering if you were paying attention, so that's why I... So what, 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 what did they say? What two <laughs> elements they wanted to combine? Uh, sort of a tight rhythm section and a sort of a big uh, lush airy thing. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I was listening. Won. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it's his mind uh, wanders. He's got a busy brain going on. Yeah, so that's um, really good. Yeah. That's really good. It was a test. What? Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, well then, well the song is. Uh,